What is happening YouTube? I'm here at a small veterans park and I'm just going to talk to you about it in there, okay? It's not that big at all, but uh, it's for the veterans and the POWs and everything, you know? Uh, it's like a memorial. They got a rifle. And we got some flags back there. Okay, I'm just gonna let you check it all out, okay guys? And then uh then I'll do a little I'll talk about it, okay? But yeah, it's like a little memorial for our veterans. You know, I'm trying to be serious on this one too. because uh, my father's a veteran and you know. So they have uh, these little, uh, I think they're marble, huh? granite or something, and they've got one for each of the services. Uh, I know my writing's probably backwards, but they got the Marines, uh, the Navy, the Coast Guard. I know, I'm, I'm checking it all out here, buddy. Uh, the Air Force, okay. Uh, one for the Army. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably all backwards because of my film. And one for the POWs. Okay, guys? And uh, I just want to talk about stuff, okay? So, I know uh, we take our uh, liberties for granted and stuff, but the men and women in the armed forces that risk their lives every day for us is something that should not be overlooked, okay? Um, they could be our sons, our daughters, our brothers, our sisters, our fathers, our mothers. You know, the people who join the forces are a special breed, okay? Because they're willing to sacrifice themselves for their country and for their loved ones. And that means a lot, okay? And the things we take for granted every day don't really measure up to their sacrifice. You know, uh, now that I've gotten older, I see a lot of things like that. I see it all differently. You know, I'm not so selfish as I used to be. Uh, for a brief period, I went in the Marines. And, you know, I decided that choice wasn't for me because it involved a lot of sacrifice, you know? And I, I wasn't ready at the time when I was younger to make that sacrifice because I was too self-centered. But my father, he had to go to Vietnam and he had to make that sacrifice. He had to leave his family and go over there and not know if he was going to come back. You know? And my father is my hero. Even though I don't say it enough, I do love him. And he's still alive, but he lives in another part of the country, the United States. I'm not going to divulge that information, you know, but yeah. And I'm proud to be a junior 
even though I was like teased about it a lot and at times I didn't like that being called Junior all the time you know Dallas Junior but now I'm proud that I'm Dallas Junior and uh He was a bronze bronze star recipient. Recipient. He received a bronze star. Please, I can't talk right now. And the Purple Heart. And he served for the army. Yeah. You know. And he raised us, me and my sister. Which is no easy task, considering I'm a handful myself. And she's just a smaller version of me. Both stubborn, both headstrong. But, you know. But even though I don't say it, you know. I love you, Dad. And thank you. For your service. As a father. As a soldier. And I respect you. Even though I didn't see it at the time when I was growing up, you know, he was firm on me. But that sculpted me into the person I am today. I tried my best to raise my three children, you know, the best I could. And I saw how hard it was to raise children. Of course, you're never prepared, no matter how much you try or think you are. You're never prepared to be a parent. It is the most hardest job and the most thankless job you'll ever get. Believe me, there's thanks. But there are times when the small things are overlooked. Well, I'm here to tell you today, Dad. I don't overlook the small things. I'm older. And I'm proud to call you my dad. So I would like to thank all the veterans for their service. All of them. Every single one of them. Because we, everyone deserves to give you thanks. Everyone. I don't know. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you so choose. And as always, peace out, bro. I love you, Dad.